A blizzard could bury the Northeast in a whole lot of snow. Yes, folks, those are live looks. Philadelphia and the U.S. Capitol. A lot of snow, we're told, falling in those areas. This is the same storm that hit California with up to 15 inches of rain before dumping a foot of snow in the Midwest. Winter storm alerts cover about 100 million people throughout this nation. Jeff Ray knows a lot more about this than I do. Yeah. And boy, from California all the way there, yeah. this what that's a mess. Yeah, major storm uh, in Philadelphia. They expect it to snow basically for two days. Uh, meanwhile, around here, we got clear skies overhead and a setting sun almost to horizon now. 41 was the low this morning and 58 was the high, which is typical for the last day of January. Yesterday was so not typical when we got into the 70s, but you see highs of today were in the mid to upper 50s just about everywhere you look. The 24 hour change from yesterday, that's about 15 to 18 degrees cooler than just yesterday. So it was two kinds of weather days here this weekend. Those wind gusts are going to stay up here across the evening. So if you're out this evening. Uh, have that coat on as temperatures drop down into the 40s. That strong wind will make it feel cooler than that. Now tomorrow morning, most of the Metroplex will stay above freezing. We'll probably have some frost across the Metroplex, but the freeze will be up towards Gainesville and Bowie for tomorrow morning. But we're still going to have that northwest wind, enough to produce wind chills that are going to get down into the mid-20s at times. So that's a winter coat start of day for the first day of February. And welcome to February. A warming trend will greet us tomorrow, 58 degrees again, but 61 on Tuesday. And Wednesday will be near 70 degrees and breezy. Let's talk about these small rain chances Thursday and Friday. This is as we go into Thursday night. Look at that little bit of rain in our eastern counties with this front coming through. Then another storm system comes through. It gives us a little bit of a rain chance along our eastern counties. Some of this might wrap around and get towards the Metroplex. By the way, this is on Saturday, but the rain chances are going to, we're going to keep them pretty small. Notice the winter weather, by the way, just to the north of us with this system. And guess what happens with that? On Super Bowl Sunday, well, actually on Saturday and Sunday, yet another major snowstorm for the East Coast. That big low over the Great Lakes in the upper level of the atmosphere at the end of the work week, heading into the weekend, is going to funnel in some cold air. Maybe the coldest we've seen so far this winter. This is Sunday morning's low, 26 degrees with a feel like temperature in the teens. Seven day forecast we go. You got these rain chances pretty small, but you've got on Super Bowl Sunday a high of only about 40 degrees. It looks like one of those days, that would be the day to stay inside. Let's